Okay, round two. This is a keep. Opponent is mulliganing, keeps it six. They're on the play. All right, good draw. So probably just going to go creeper into Cathar. Could do the scab instead. Okay. <clears throat> so let's play the Cathar here. Could actually do the desperate sentry. Hmm. It's not bad either. Let's go Cathar. We're going to leave the field creeper back here. All right. So we're playing against the vampire deck. So I guess I'm happy I got that Stintia Masquerade out of the way. Let's see. So let's just play a Desperate Sentry and pass. Let's set up for a Subjugator Angel, maybe. Hmm. Weirded Vampires. So question kind of is, depending on what our opponent does, but what am I going to attack with when I play this Subjugator Angel? I guess the Ingenious Scab, because I won't be able to pump it. But I should probably leave the Cathar back to trade with a Weirded Vampire and the Sentry to trade with the Blood Mad Vampire. So maybe the Creeper and the Scab. That seems fine. All right, go we'll just block that. Get a three two. A deranged whelp. Okay. Tattered haunter. It's a good draw. So let's figure this out. Um, so we're definitely attacking with subjugator angel. We're gonna leave back the creeper for blood mad. Still probably leaving back Cathar. Which means... Well, I can just go in with Flyer. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I can go in with Eldrazi Horror, too. 
probably trades the Blood Mad for it. I can go in with Cathar, Angel, Horror. And then I'm left with a Field Creeper and a Scab for my opponent's four creatures. And the Tattered Haunter. Eh, seems a little bit more risky. Maybe we just do Cathar and Angel. Okay, let's do that. Taking it. Huh. So we'll play the Haunter. And pass. So Savage Alliance gets us pretty good. You can deal three damage to the scab and one to everything else, but it's all right. So I think we're just going to take this because we're pretty far ahead on the race. So weirded vampire we can take. Um, if he attacks with Blood Mad, we offer Field Creeper. They attack with... Hmm. Well, we're going to do Field Creeper, Blood Mad. And then I guess we do Horror Weirded. Okay, I'm on board. Rather keep my ingenious scab in case I get some prowess and I can do something about this. Hmm. Leaving up three mana instead of escalating. Now that's... Well, I guess it's because wouldn't have been able to save it anyway. All right, I guess that makes sense. Ah, mutation. Well, that's useful. Let's... Uh, let's see here. So I can actually... I can swing with... I can swing with team. Opponent's got three mana up, though. But remember... There was no reason for them to escalate, so it does make sense that they wouldn't have escalated, because it would have traded anyway. So if I swing with everything, I have mutation, which means I can prowess this up. Which means they probably block like that, and then they probably block like that. So I would get rid of whelp. Let's just attack with our flyers. We can use a defensive mutation, which is likely better anyway. Okay. Not too concerned about the Dragoon. So let's bash with flyers. Okay. So we're going to cast a mutation on the... Dragoon after blocks.
Oops. So mutation there. And pass. Extricator. So we sack a land and we've got delirium. So let's just get in with Tattered Haunter. Could actually sack the uh, Cathar, but we won't get delirium. I'd rather have delirium here. We can always attack with Cathar anyway. I guess I shouldn't have tapped a blue, but I guess it doesn't matter. All right. So red black vampires, got some madness outlets. We've got the madness cards. So opponent's deck looks good, definitely. Um, I'm thankful we stole dual shot, malevolence, and stincia masquerade from them because all three of those cards are this card's fantastic in their deck, and these two are great against us. So that's that's good that we have we don't have to worry about that. Um. I think we're going to keep it the same. I don't mind having some of these, but I think we're, we're rocking the premium removal here, so we're okay. Let's try this again. All right, this will do. I think we're going to go Lone Rider into uh, Dauntless Cathar. We do have double Cathar in our hand right now. I guess it depends on what our opponent does, too. Like, maybe we just want to go Field Creeper, offer a trade. But I could draw hot, which is a good reason to play the Lone Rider. Okay. So if I draw a combat trick... If I draw like a borrowed grace, we're kind of golden. All right, well, let's let's just play the Dauntless Cathar then, and then pass. Next turn, we can either go Brute or Cathar Creeper. We did pass the Savage Alliance in the draft, and we haven't seen it yet. We didn't see it out of our first round opponent, so certainly a reasonable chance this opponent's got it. All right. Lone Rider is kaput. So we'll take our four. Follow-up play of another Dragoon. All right. Opponent's deck is pretty solid. Madness cards, madness outlets. All vampires. All vampires. 
So I think we play the Brute and pass. Our opponent's got two cards left in hand. We want to be able to keep the Welp back, because I can definitely trade a cat there for it. All right. Let's play the Brute. Lost some lands, which we didn't want to draw anyway. And our opponent's got a discard to Dragoon to be able to get in here. Remember, I actually like Brute in this deck because we have like Ironclad Slayer to get back Auras. Well, that's a problem. Alright. Trade there. Hopefully our opponent's last card isn't Savage Alliance. We'll see. So Ironclad Slayer can get back Bound by Moonsilver, so that's great. Let's play the Slayer. Let's play the Field Creeper. And we'll pass. Because I would rather keep the token and lose the artifact and get our... Uh, Delirium, although we'll, we'll, because we lost the enchantment, we're going to lose Delirium, but that's not a huge deal. All right, so I think we actually block the Madness card here. The Mad L Madness Enabler. Okay. All right, fair enough. So we go to seven. So let's go land, which puts us to six. So two, four, seven. So we can only do one or the other, I see. So let's go, I still think I'd rather have the flyer. I don't really care about Cathar, so let's bound the Although, let's bound the guy that can fly and then play the Cathar so we can block the Whelp. All right, it's bad news, but what can you do? All right, so we'll do this and pass. So, kind of need to rip a purge now so we can deal with the supplicant. Like that's gonna be that. Ooh. 
Ooh, Blessed Alliance. Well, I guess we have to do it now. Does four even keep me alive? Let's see. Two, four. Yeah, it does, but I have to do it now. Because otherwise my opponent can just attack, and then in response to me doing that can just kill me. So I guess I have to gain four now and buy myself one turn, but ah, it doesn't matter. That's the problem. I guess we can attack, technically. Um, actually, I can move the Bound by Moon Silver to the Menace to block the Dragoon. Okay. So we'll move this there. We'll pass. Okay, so we'll bless it alliance. It's kind of hoping they didn't do that like that, but that's all right. I guess we could rip like spectral reserves, maybe. So we're going to chump here. All right, so got to go to game three. Like I said, opponent's deck is good, so this is going to be a very challenging one, but we'll do our best. We're going to have to some to rip some pretty good cards here in game three. So, Fiery Temper, Incendiary Flow, Ban and Reason, Borrowed Hostility, Greeting. So, good removal suite, good creatures, good ways to close out games. What do we have for that? Not much. Not much. We have some gain life. We've got a little lifelink, a little more life gain. Uh, I don't think anything's particularly weak against our opponent, but... I uh, guess we do the turn aside, actually. Probably need the turn aside. We gotta stop those pesky removal spells. So maybe we ditch like a... I kind of want to keep the mutation around. Mutation seems valuable. Um, so I could dump like a Borrowed Grace. I love Borrowed Grace, but... Doesn't strike me as the card I want for this matchup because our opponent's so aggressive. I'd rather have somebody that like counters one of their really good removal spells than something that's good on a stalled board state. Like I'm still pretty sure we have enough ways to win with like collective effort, true faith sensor on a human, some delirium flyers. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Cut the borrowed grace for the turn aside. All right. We'll play first. Let's see here. Yeah, this hand will do. We've got a two drop. If we can get our third mana, we can go Cathar into True Fate Sensor Equip, maybe, which would be pretty, pretty slick. Or even Spell Queller, which would be nice.
Okay, so let's attack. And we're going to leave up Spell Queller. Because I would use it to just block the Dragoon, although they do have Abandoned Reason. Hmm. Could be a concern. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll counter the Weirded Vampire. All right, opponent's got the goods and is delivering. Kind of want to draw a land here. Hmm. So I can play the Cathar. Otherwise, I can equip True Faith Sensor and swing. And leave up Mutation. Which isn't bad. All right, let's do that. Because they can't fiery temper right Well, I guess they can fiery temper right now, can't they? <laughs> All right, we're still going to do it. Jeez, opponent just... What do you want me to say? <laughs> opponent just has the goods. Opponent's got the goods, man. Bummer. So we're going to mutation the weirded vampire. Wow. Cool hand, man. It's real good. It's a real good hand. So I think we mutation the weirded vampire so we can offer the trade with the incorrigible youth instead. With the dauntless Cathar, I mean. Um, to play it safe, maybe we just purge the incorrigible youths, sacking the true faith sensor. I think we're actually going to do that. I really wish opponent didn't have so many plays, though. <laughs> All right, so we're going to purge this, sack the sensor. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in, folks. Hope you like the draft. We'll be back for more very soon. Thanks so much. Be sure to tune into the Twitch stream if you enjoy those. Please support Jamie and Travis as well. And we'll see you soon.